So the lead code problem we are going to solve now is called valid parentheses string. We can see that this one is a lead code medium problem and also a very well-liked problem. Basically, we are given a string S that contains only three types of characters, uh, open parentheses, closed parentheses, and a star. Now we need to return true if the given string is valid and there are some definitions given on what is valid. Basically, any left parentheses must have a corresponding right parentheses. That's fair. Same way, any right parentheses must have a corresponding left parentheses. Uh, next point is that left parentheses means opening parentheses must go before the corresponding closing parentheses. So this is valid. But if we have like this, then this is not valid. Okay. And last one is that if we are given star at any moment, then we can consider star to be whatever we want. So we can treat it as a right parenthesis or a closing parenthesis or an open parenthesis, or we can also consider it as an empty string. So that makes no difference. So let's try to see some examples. Suppose we are given a, a parenthesis like this. This one is a valid. If we are given a parenthesis like this, once again, this is a valid. If we are given a parenthesis that contains star, once again, this is a valid. In this case, we are treating the star to be an empty string, which means we are basically left with this. Uh, we can uh, also say that this is also a valid uh, string and so on and so forth. So the only scenarios where it is not valid is if we are dealing with number of uh, like out of order uh, parentheses or we are dealing with multiple parentheses of being like this and only one parentheses like this. So this is also not valid. So let's try to understand the most common logic on how we can pursue solving this problem. Now we know that if we are only dealing with uh, working with problems that only contains parentheses, we can simply use a stack and uh, solve this problem very easily very efficiently there are like a lot of different examples of that i would no go not go in depth in this case because the important thing for this problem is this asterisk so whenever we are dealing with an asterisk we have three possibilities we can either consider it to be an open parenthesis we can consider it to be an empty string or we can consider it to be a closed parenthesis so in each of the cases let's say that if we are dealing with multiple stars there can be many possible uh, combinations and permutations that we should be able to make but that adds more and more complexity to our problem because let's say that we are given a string like this now in this case uh, we need to basically have option over here to choose three different entries for and for each three different options we have another way to choose three more different options and so on and so forth so we can make many many different possible combinations so we'll have to do things smartly so one su solution I'm suggesting in this case is that we use greedy approach and basically we iterate over the given input in just a single fashion and we keep track of the number of open parentheses. And we also design that what is the maximum number of open parentheses that we currently can have depending on the star value and what is going to be the minimum number of open parentheses we can have depending on the given star value. Now, there are two possibilities. One possibility is that for any particular star, if we treat it as an open parenthesis, which means there is one more open parenthesis left for us to deal with. So in that case, we can add basically that value to the max pair character, or we can treat this star as a, an empty string or a closed parenthesis. In this case, we have one less open parenthesis that we need to deal with. So in this case, we would update the value for the minimum character. So let me just walk you through the solution I'm suggesting. Let's say that we are currently given an input like this. So in this case, we are going to simply have a few rules for two variables that I'm suggesting. First variable, the variable's name is maximum uh, open. Okay. And second one is minimum open. Now for each of this, we are keeping track that what are the maximum number of untouch open parentheses we have and what is the minimum number of untouch open parentheses we have the logic is quite straightforward we are simply going to follow few rules if the given input character is an open parentheses then we will have to increment at both the places so we are going to increment at max and min if it is a closed parentheses which means there is one less uh, open parentheses for us to deal with so in this case we would decrement at both op minimum open and maximum open variables and we are going to initialize these with value zero and if the given value is star in this case we have two possibilities so there is one possibility we treat this as an open parentheses or we treat this as an close parentheses or uh, an empty string so if we are treating it as an open parenthesis which means there is one more 
uh, open parentheses left for us to check so we are going to increment at our max open so for max open we are going to update the value whenever we encounter a star and whenever we encounter a star we can also treat it as a closing bracket so we will decrement the value at the minimum variable that we have stored and this are the rules that we are going to follow now uh, there are a couple of conditions that would allow us to solve this problem basically find the uh, lo lose cases so first case is that if at any given point we identify that given number of maximum open parentheses go into negative which means that there are too many uh, too few open parentheses and too many unopened parentheses because remember uh, when this can go into negative whenever we have a closed parentheses then we decrement the value so let's say that if for the given example if the first character in itself is a closed parentheses then we would have decremented the value for maximum open and minimum open so in this case the maximum open would have become negative so we can say that now even if this is like the most valid string this is also this is always going to be not valid because it has an open parenthesis where we don't have a corresponding close parenthesis so this is one scenario that we can keep track of second scenario is that at the end our goal is to ensure that there are no untouched or there are no uh, left open parentheses so let's say that we iterate over the in entire given input using these three rules and we find that there are no open parentheses which means the min open is zero then we can simply return zero as the answer now next thing is uh, we have a possibility where if we are encountering a star we are uh, we are basically uh, reducing the value uh, of the min parameter so min parameter can still go into negative but the thing is this would not directly say that uh, we are dealing with an invalid string so in this case if for some reason the minimum variable goes negative then we are simply going to just start it back to zero uh, treating that there are no uh, no open parentheses left for us to check and i know that uh, there are a lot of rules that i just talked about but the thing is if you just understood what uh, we are trying to do with the example then it would make perfect sense so let's say that this is our minimum variable this is going to be our maximum variable and we are going to start iterating in this fashion so first we identify an open parenthesis which means we are going to increment the value for both in min, min and max so currently both values are going to be one once again open parenthesis so both values are going to be two and once again open parenthesis both values are going to be three now notice what these values define is that what is the minimum number of open parenthesis that we will have to deal with and what is the maximum number of open parenthesis that we have to deal with so far we haven't encountered any star so that's why the numbers are same amongst both of them now we encountered a star so we can read the star as either an open parenthesis or a dot or a close parenthesis <clears throat> if it's a one more open parenthesis then we would have four open parenthesis that we will need to deal with and if we treat this as a closed parenthesis then we will only have to basically deal with one less open parenthesis because we can basically close these two parentheses so in this case this value would become two and let's try to see this by different examples so first three values we have as open then we have a star over here so what are the two possibilities first possibility is that we create a close parenthesis so in this case this becomes a close parenthesis so how many number of open parentheses that we are left to deal with two which we are representing over here if we treat this as an open parenthesis in this case how many number of uh, maximum open parentheses that we will have to deal with four and that we are capturing over here and this is the whole logic of the entire solution so now let's continue moving forward so once again we identified one more star so once again the minimum var variable is going to be decreased by one so this would become one and maximum variable would be increased by one so this would become five and now we encounter a closing parenthesis so whenever we encounter a closing parenthesis basically we are reducing the values at both minimum and maximum values so this would become zero and this would become four now because we reach to the end of the loop we don't care about this maximum variable this maximum variable is only there to keep track of uh, if this goes into negative or not if it does goes into the negative which means we can stop immediately and return false if that is not the case we check the value of this minimum variable and if because this is zero so in this case we can return true for this one 
and uh, that this is a valid string so this is the whole idea behind the solution now if we see time and space complexity time complexity is going to be big o of n because it's quite straightforward space complexity is going to be big o of one because apart from using a couple of variables we are not using any extra space so this is a wonderful solution and now let's quickly see the coding solution for this one so the coding solution is quite straightforward first we are going to initialize a couple of variables called minimum open and maximum open this is to keep track of the minimum possible open parentheses and maximum possible open parentheses now we are going to start iterating over character by character inside our given input string s and for every single character we are going to check that if there is an open parentheses then we need to increment both min open and max open otherwise if it is an closing parenthesis then we need to decrement both min open and max open and if uh, that is not the case which means we have identified a, a star value in this case we will need to decrement the minimum open because we are treating it as a closing bracket or an empty string or we need and we need to increment the maximum open because we are treating it as uh, open uh, left parenthesis now at any given moment we realize that the max open is less than zero which means we can return false immediately because there are just way too many uh, closing parentheses compared to the subsequent open parentheses now if that is not the case then we are going to check that at any given point the if the min open becomes negative then we are simply going to um, initial initialize the value starting from zero so min open can go into negative but we don't care about that now in the end we simply need to check that if the given min open is equal to zero which means that there are no uh, minimum possible left open parentheses so in this case we can return true saying that the given parentheses string is valid so let's try to run this code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit this code and code beats 100% of all the other solutions which is exceptional so once again I would be posting this solution in the github repository that we have created so you can find it from there thank you